So I wanted to go over some things you should consider when you're buying a car. First of all, this is like one of the worst times <laughs> in the last couple of years to buy a car. If you have to buy a car, I feel for you. Interest rates are sky high. These prices of cars are ridiculous. Like I don't even know what's going on. But yeah, I told you about my psychosis when I bought my minivan when I was pregnant that I don't even drive that I currently have on Toro. And with really good credit, I still got an 8% interest rate. And for me, I was like, okay, whatever, that was fine because again, psychosis, but also the price of the car wasn't that much. But for my last couple of cars, for my Tesla, the interest rate was 1.7. That's for my Model X. And I had a Model 3 and that interest rate was like 2.4. Um, and I hadn't had an interest rate over 3% in years and years and years. So that 8% interest rate really was like, oh my God. But I figured I could refinance out of it. And I keep on going to my credit union like, when are the rates going to drop? And they're like, no time soon. Anyway, I feel for you if you have to buy a car, but car buying tips. First of all, have a price range in mind. Whenever you go to the dealership, they're always going to ask you, how much do you want to pay a month? Don't think about that. Think about the total amount that you want to spend on a car and you should get pre-approved by your credit union. And you guys know, I don't really mess with bigger banks. I deal primarily with credit unions and recommend that you do too, because they have better rates, better relationships, all of those kind of things. So go to your credit union, get a pre-approval letter or go to a bank. I think last time I went like an online bank, I did Capital One last time for my car because I could get a quick pre-approval and then they show me to the dealerships that I didn't even have to deal with all the BS. And so I did Capital One last time, but usually I'll go to my credit union and get a pre-approval. Anyway, so that's why I like have your pre-approval in hand before you start shopping for a car. But here are some other hard and fast rules when it comes to buying a car. So what car payment can you afford? So typically like in order to not be car broke, you need to be spending less like 15 to 20% of your take home pay towards your transportation costs. And that includes the car, the gas, insurance, and maintenance. Really, your car payment should be no more than 10% of your take home pay. So if you're bringing home $4,000 a month, you should be able to afford about $400 a month car payment. But Again, you want to check like the wiggle room that you have in your budget. <laughs> I don't know too many people that have a $400 car payment nowadays with these, but once you determine how much you can afford on your monthly payment, I have a calculator within um, my platform that you can use to figure out how much you can spend on a car. The maximum affordable car price will be based on your monthly payment, the interest rate, on your car loan and the term of your car loan. Typically, the longer you have a car loan now, you are able to afford a more expensive car. But I don't recommend having car loans out more than four years. So I'm gonna do this calculation. Let's see what how much car we can buy right now with the totally pay $400 a month. So I'm gonna use this calculator. $400 a month. And down payment, let's just say, I don't ever put anything down typically. So zero down, interest rate of 8%. And let's see, we're going to do four years is 48 months, right? How much of a car can I buy? <laughs> the max I can spend on a car is about $16,000. I don't know what kind of car I'm going to get for $16,000, but I'm just play around with this and just see if I would have brought this car a couple of years ago when I was getting like a 2.5% interest rate, how much car could I afford? Okay. $18,000 car. So, I mean, like <laughs> car prices are through the roof right now. And so Eek, I don't know what you can buy for an $18,000 car. My minivan, which is a 2016 Honda Odyssey, was about $26,000. So there you go. But if you're interested in using this calculator or just learning more about 
how much you can afford. I am launching a new course, a new platform, and it's simply at learn.financiallyintentional.com. Or if you go onto financiallyintentional.com, I have some calculators on there, some tools that you can click on. It will take you to my course. There is a 30-day free trial to go in there and play around to actually get your financial wellness score that'll suggest some courses for you to take. It is a new platform that I am launching because I am opening back up my membership program very soon. But right now you can go in there and play around. And I'm interested to know what you think, but hope that was helpful. But if you have to buy a car this year or in the media future, my prayers to you, sending you all my love.